To create our cactus flowers, we're going to do the same thing we did with our green paper and flip our pink and orange paper to the back. I will draw circles on the back of the paper that are medium sized and maybe some small ones. You don't want to draw super big circles because these are flowers that are growing on the cactus. So they shouldn't be bigger than our cactus. I'm not sure how many I'll want, so I'll start with two and then save the paper and see how many will fit on the cactus. Instead of just doing circles, I'm cutting out a square around the circle first and then trimming off the edges. This makes it a little bit easier to cut than if I were to use the whole paper. Don't make your square too big though because you'll waste paper. After your circle is cut, you're going to use color sticks to create details on your flower. I've created a center and then I can make lines coming out or circles like flower petals. I've chosen a yellow which is kind of hard to see. So after I do some lines coming out from the center and some loops, I think I might decide to switch to a darker warm color. I'm sticking to warm colors, the yellow, orange, pink, and reds because they match with my flower color choices. In addition, you can embellish or add a little bit of black or white. After your flower has little details on it, take your scissors and just cut the sides a little bit, just part of the way. So they'll look like individual flower petals. Please draw your flower detail first before you cut it. I'm taking each little petal now and bending it very gently in. I'm wiggling it. I have two flowers right now. I will make more, but I'll start with these two and lay them where I want them to go on my cactus. I don't want them to cover any large circles. I want to put them in places where they may stick out from the sides a little bit. Uh, they may come off the top. I'm bending the petals a little bit more so they stick out. I do not want to put glue on the edges of my flower because I want the petals to be three-dimensional. I'm just going to put glue on that little center part. I've planned out where my flowers are going to go. I'm going to add the glue now. I'm using the tapping glues. Remember to shake the glue bottle first and then press down and lift up. You need to press and push the tips down in order for the glue to come out. I'm going to hold it down, count in my head to 20, making sure they're not getting on the petals, and do my next one. Don't squeeze, don't twist the top, just push. Just like I did, you should get a whole bunch of dots, turn it over, and then hold it down. I will need more than two flowers on my cactus. So I'm going back to my pink and orange paper. I have almost a perfect square left over, so I'm just gonna cut that square first, figure out how big I want my flower to be. I held it up to my cactus and I made a circle. I will do the same steps as before. Cut my circle out. Draw details with the color sticks using warm colors, black and white. Use my scissors to cut slots in the sides of my flower. Not too many. I'm spacing it out, taking my time. I want them to look like little flower petals. Curl the flower petals up one at a time using your fingers. 
Be gentle and don't fold them, just slightly bend them and curl them. Flip your flour over and glue in the center. Shake the bottle upside down, press a few times to get some dots on your flour center, and then place it where you want it on your cactus, pressing the middle in and counting slowly in your head. I'm checking to make sure the petals aren't glued. I'm going to fast forward while I do the smaller ones. I measured, I cut, I'm decorating with color sticks, cutting the petals, folding and gluing. I don't want to add too many flowers to my cactus so that I don't even see my cactus anymore. So I'm doing a few at a time so I make sure I don't make too many in the beginning. I made six flowers total, but it's really up to your judgment how many will work with your cactus. Now that I'm finished with my glue, I'm twisting the tip with uh, a round of paper towel. I'm pinching and then twisting. You'll feel the little tiny tip at the very top of the glue. That's how it opens and closes, so we need to make sure it's nice and clean so it won't be clogged for the next class. Get rid of all of the white glue, that's how you'll know it's clean. My last finishing touch is adding the spikes on the cactus, those little pointy needles. I don't want to add them everywhere because that would look a little too busy. So just around the outline, of my cactus on the blue paper I'm making a border of lines that will act as the cactus needles. 